Gotcha, All gotcha. right, welcome to the Feedback Podcast, everybody. My name is Back, and this is episode 233. Uh, real quick, quick announcement. Make sure you follow Hip Hop Bingo on Instagram. Uh, we'll be back next year with some good stuff. Uh, and then follow the feedback everywhere on social media. Make sure you check out the archives I just posted. Uh, the interview I did with Mo Ammer from 2018 when he released, right before he taped this first Netflix special, Vagabond. And this new one just came out called Mohammed in Texas. So check that out. Uh, Valerie Lopez was on from the Comedy Wham in Austin. Uh, we did his Kankfest recap with Aaron Cheatham. Make sure you go check that out. And speaking of Kankfest, my <laughs> guest today, I'm really, by the way, I'm really excited. Uh, very funny. Karen Margos in the building, not virtual build, building. I don't want to say that. We're on Zoom, but it's all good. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you. Thanks for having me on. It's exciting. I was, I know I was supposed to do the one at Stank Fest and I didn't. I was sleeping or showering or I don't know what you dressed were dressed or something. I was in a, I was with April, I think, at the hotel room. Our, our yeah. mutual, our new mutual friend yes. that you called Megan Markle. <laughs> <laughs> but wait till I tell, wait till I tell Aaron that I actually got to do a podcast with you. Like, what, what about Megan? I'm like, oh, I'll get to Megan eventually. Because she's like, well, you it, guys, Megan mm-hmm. lives in town. You may, she lives in Austin. Yeah. I'll, she told, Y'all don't she, hang out. I don't know. I called her once. I called totally. her once. And, and I said, uh, I forgot what I called her about. Oh, yeah. I had a hip hop bingo going on uh, a mm-hmm. couple of weeks ago. And I was like, hey, you should come out because it's fun. She's like, oh, let me check with my friends. I'm like, what friends? And- <laughs> I know, right? Her whole thing was like, I don't have any friends here. And exactly. you're like, I'm, I'm right here. <laughs> no shit. Like, the th- here, here's the thing. Like, I I do. And this, I, I hate to brag. I let other people brag for me usually. But. I do dope shit. Like I know enough people, a lot of people in this city and, uh, and I keep track with everything that's happening, whether I go or not, it doesn't matter, but I enjoy people uh, telling me, Hey, I just got to town. I don't know where to go. Where should I, I want to dance. I want some hip hop. I want to play. I want some lab music, blues, whatever. I'm like, Hey, go to that place. And I don't care. I don't get paid for it, but I enjoy that. So for someone who just got here and hates the place, Yep. You know, I'm like, look, I'm giving you some dope to do. And you're going to be, I mean, yes, my friends. All right, never mind. I'm not going to, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm not going to ask twice. Being bored is a choice. I really, look, I really believe so. I really believe, like you have no excuse, really, especially these days. Yeah, but I don't know what the temperature is down there, but like over here, it's getting cold and shitty. And like, I just don't blame anyone for not going out. Like if someone's like, what should I do? Never mind. I'm like, I got you. Like, it sucks right now. Yeah, but in New York, people, that happens this time of year, every year. Like people know it gets cold. I've been in New York in December. I've been in February and yeah, it's fucking cold. I get it's that. A lot. Yeah. But you you know it, you're used to it. So you're well, equipped you know it's for com- it. I guess you don't love it. Doesn't mean you love it. It's a pain in the ass. It is a pain in the ass. If someone like one was suggested going out and then didn't go out right now, I'd be like, I got you. Obviously, it's this is craziness. I said, no, fuck off. I'm going. In. I don't need you. I'm like, I'm not going <laughs> anyway. This this has been my motto lately. I'm like, we just came out of two years, almost two years of pandemic, quote unquote, because that didn't exist in Texas. But like your circle of friends, my circle of friends went from a lot of people to maybe like three or four. Totally. And I'm like, I ain't got time to call people around no more and be like, hey, do you want to go out? Do you want to do this? You want to do that? No, I just go. I, maybe I'll ask you once. And if I don't hear from you and if you say no, I'm not going to ask you again. It's, it's that simple. I'm going to do me. You okay there? Oh, she muted herself because she's I muted myself because it's embarrassing. <laughs> oh, yes. It's like my first day every day. Remember, <laughs> this is how me and ba- I don't know if you told the story in this podcast. Mm-hmm. I just listened to. So April, Megan Markle sent me the link to the podcast that you did, the wrap, the Skankfest yeah. wrap up thing. And she was like, check this out, like 19 minutes, whatever. Mm-hmm. So I listened to the part where you're like, oh, Karen didn't want to go on stage. She was over it. <laughs> she was on mushrooms. And then she went, she had like good set, which by the way, thank you for that. I appreciate that. But um. Actually, I had like a, a really fun set on mushrooms every single time. It was a dream come true. But um, but we <laughs> we met in one of the green rooms and the three of us got to talking. We started talking for a while and you had like a vape pen. We're all getting fucked up. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You have that exact pen. And you were like, you can hit it. 
but you can't cough. And I was like, well, that's like a crazy bargain. Like, I can't agree to that. I'm obviously going to cough every single time. I think there was like once or twice when I went out of my way to tell you that I had not coughed. Yes. Proudly. <laughs> I said, go and, easy on this. You're going to cough. You're like, no, I'm not. Like, I'm like, why me. would I? But I'm smoking it to get high. I'm not smoking it to go easy. If I go easy, I'm not going to get high. It's like, you see my catch 22 situation. Yeah. But do you want to go through the pain? I just warned you. You didn't believe me. I have no... <laughs> I have no interest in seeing you suffer on your first hit of this pen. So I'm like, <laughs> and every careful. hit of the pen. Yeah, every yeah, pretty much every hit. Every like single hit of the pen. Yeah, as I did not. <laughs> you had a fit. You had like a bent over. <laughs> I did. I was. I was. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. I was also vaping the whole time. My lungs were absolutely shot. I've been coughing since day one. Since the first <laughs> time I hit a joint, I've been coughing, and I never stop. People are like, "You'll stop. You'll get used to it." Nope. Never did. Vaped hurt my lungs and now it's just it's not gonna happen i'm gonna cough forever it is embarrassing i'm i'm like really an adult i'm in my 30s i'm <laughs> it's okay <laughs> it's okay nobody's judging nobody's you judging. are you have been judging like you tell you're like just so you know i'm judging this oh yeah i did i, just, that's all I, was, I, looked, I was high too i was high for four days straight so every picture that i posted on instagram my eyes are blasted closed. yeah Seriously. no same every picture to... you see of me on, on at skank fest i am on so many drugs what all did was, you do i know you gave me mushroom um, on that set last day did i i don't even remember i did a <laughs> bunch of mushrooms i did some acid one of the days because i needed to take a little break from mushrooms because you have to like give it a rest sure, um i did some molly did some coke did smoked a ton of weed was drinking constantly um yeah i guess that's kind of it i mean what else is there no, that's pretty good. You didn't shoot yeah. heroin or anything. I don't know if that's I, so, I didn't know. It wasn't that. because it wasn't available to me. Oh, trust me. There was some <laughs> motherfucker was not, in there named no. Tyler who had really? I don't know. I'm guessing. I mean, look at all the oh stop. Look oh, at you're the just demographics. Lying. Oh, okay, okay, okay. There uh, had to be one. You think it wasn't like a big honestly, it wasn't a big like hard drugs crowd. It was like a mushrooms and molly crowd. When I even like asked anyone if they had any like a bump of coke not even like coke coke not doing lines or whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. um not that i'm judging but like people were like <gasps> like it wasn't really a thing down there they were kind of freaked out by it which i was like grow up you guys i've never done coke really uh, okay fine. you don't have to say it like that <laughs> i mean really i mean you're are you alone what? yeah what's wrong with you are an adult how old are you back I i'm either 27 or 52 yeah that's true so which is it <laughs> <laughs> i'm 39 <laughs> You're 39. Yeah. You're 39 years old. So you're 40. And you have not ever tried Coke in your life. Never cared. Never well, cared to. Has it ever been offered to you? You know, you're not. Yeah, a it has. Honestly, it has. It has. But I never. But like, you just eh. didn't want to. Yeah, no, fair yeah. Enough. I, I like uh, I, I did Molly once. I did m mushrooms. I like I, 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 I tell the best. mushrooms. I've done mushroom twice. Yeah, they're great. And I, I, I think I told the story on the podcast. I don't know if you want to but uh the the molly what the heck? yeah i did molly i ended up at some dude's house and uh i was just sitting on the couch and this this guy with his shirt off comes up to me and he has a glove with the lights on the fingers yeah like he has no shirt on that's a molly she he's wearing a full molly outfit <laughs> yeah no that was a dude yeah <laughs> that was a dude. and he walks yeah. he walks into my face and start doing all these tricks with his fingers in my face i'm like are you is all you tripping i'm like no get the fuck out of my face this, there wasn't right but if you it, were on molly that would have been awesome I, I i was but here's you the were thing on molly? yeah but it, it, maybe it was shitty molly i have no idea i have that's my point of reference that's all Got I it. Know. oh that's all you've done yeah but the thing is i when when you do drugs and you're tense and i can't speak then you anticipate the high it, yeah. it it's like you don't let it happen sometimes yeah and also if it's, not good, good, if it's not a good drug i find that i feel that anxiety more you know like if it's not good if it's not good quality like i've done molly or ecstasy or whatever where I felt that resistance or whatever. It just means that the drug is shitty because it's supposed to overpower you. Like you're not, it, it's supposed to overtake you and like give you this whole experience. You're not supposed to be sitting there fighting it and that works. No, but I'm like, I'm literally sitting there like, okay, when is this supposed to, because then, then, then you overdo it. Then you overdo it. You're like, oh, maybe I need to take three, fine. four, five, six, seven. And, you, and then you're on the floor. Yeah. You don't yeah, remember shit. I would prefer that than to just not get high. To be on the floor? <laughs> I'd prefer to overdo it, yeah. I, I, say, I, do that, I do that with weed that that I'll, I'll do because it doesn't it takes about well with this pen not long but when I do edibles it takes about I'll say an hour or so so I have to time it I have to make sure yes. I'm, I'm not in the 
place where, you know, uh, either I can get in trouble, I can do something stupid, but I, I, I have Wait. a whole different, I don't I'm trying to think if I did anything weird as Kankface while I was, while I was high. Cause I say really? stupid I was- shit. I mean, I was super high. I don't think I did anything crazy. I, I, I felt very much in control. Yeah, I mean, I, like, I remember everything. But yeah. I don't... Oh, the, the, uh, I went out a few weeks ago. Uh, this thing we, happens here with uh, Talib Kweli comes in DJs mm. uh, once a month. And I yeah, I'm high off my mind. <laughs> and I'm talking to this like 22-year-old girl. And at one point, I think I just leaned in because I want to say something. And I said, uh, I don't know. And just walked away. <laughs> That's I'm fine. Like, That's very tame. I'm like, but I would never do that sober. Yeah, I, I right, would right, never right. like, I was like, eh, I don't know. I, I, I'm out. I got Bye. nothing to do with 22. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 22 I, what do I, you know? I ain't trying to be around 20 year olds. It's weird. I don't even know how to talk to them. I mean, it's like, you think it's all well and good. You know, you're like, oh, whatever. I feel like I'm in my twenties. And then you talk to someone in their twenties and you're like, never mind. No, <laughs> I'm I can't. definitely not in my twenties. Yeah. I don't even have to say to you people. <laughs> I, I can't. It, it's, I feel even weird just being around because the whole time you're watching them and you're like, it's a was I like that? Energy. Right. Well, was I like, like oh, that? Was I baby truly ever like that like this yeah. innocent little lamb you're like i no way did i dress like a power ranger everywhere Crazy. i went me and my girlfriends we all wear a different out same outfit different colors really? and the dudes are, are just the same they just wear the same shit and i'm like wow, was <laughs> i did i stand out that i look like any other dude out there oh yeah i want to say no i mean i was a hot mess in my 20s i'm so glad that's over Really? I mean, I, yeah, I just made bad decisions. I didn't dress great. Like I just was messy. Were you picked on? Mm, I mean, as a child, a little bit, but not not as an adult. Well, I in guess your except 20s. in comedy, not in my twenties. I mean, I guess in comedy, like the usual, just like ball busting. But yeah. I, I wasn't like bullied as an adult. No, no, who not, would dare? <laughs> who would dare? I feel, I, I, I feel like you you'd like dish it out too. Bring it. Yeah, I dare somebody to bully me. Go right the fuck ahead. I would welcome it. Oh my God, I'm bored over here. <laughs> Try to bully me, please. Bra- make my make my day shine brighter. I, it's fun. fun. Bully needs to come back. Yeah, I think it's bullies? here. People can't take it. Huh? Yeah, the problem is people aren't good at it. That's the problem. It's like just being mean isn't the same as bullying. It's like a real, a, a good bully, a quality bully is like funny like gets you and it's like funny and it gets everybody else on board too where they're like that was fucking dope that's a real bully where you're like shit how do i how do i i can't win that (laughs) he's like everybody everybody agrees (laughs) i suck (laughs) and and i think it's it's different when you hang out with comedians versus normal people i guess Hmm. but uh i remember like when i when i was a kid i used to just i was ruthless and it really? always came, yeah, because it, but it always came, everybody, everybody liked me because I could get along with everybody. Right. But I could, I mean, you know, like people, it's what we do. I mean, if I'm from Africa and we do the same thing, like we'll crack jokes on you all, all the time. Yeah, and right. here I am in this small town in France and there's only three black families in the whole town. And so when it's like, yeah, everybody knows <laughs> back because you have to know back. But yeah. then, yeah, don't be around back too long because he's gonna crack on you. And you're not gonna <laughs> like it. I remember I was 12 years old and my friend sat me down, like I like a, uh, like intervention type shit. Mm-hmm. And you're like, yo, back, you need to calm the fuck down because you're too mean. <laughs> <laughs> I make people cry, and I'm like, but really? I love you. Why? What's wrong with you? You need to know when to stop, you autistic fuck. <laughs> back I was off. I was 12. The fuck that's do I know? old enough to know better. When someone's weeping in front of you and you're still going at it, that's that's a serial killer. Well, I, I, that's I would stop. I, I would I would get him to that point. I'm trying to work my way up or down, however you want to see it. <laughs> to, so you were the, just looking, I'm such a dick. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but then I couldn't take it either. That's the thing. Right. The one the ones who just shit out are always super sensitive too. Yes. Yes. And like, hey, don't super don't make sensitive. fun of me. Don't I know. Make fun of me. I know. I know. Mm. See, that's the thing. I'm not. I'm not a bully. 
Um, I can take it though also, cause I don't like, I, I just don't care. I don't think people realize how much I'm like the least bothered person in comedy. Like you, you, tr- you cannot hurt my feelings. I'm also not going to go out of my way and like read something shitty. Like I don't go out and like go on Reddit and read about myself or anything like that. I I'm not like pursuing it, but like, you can't talk shit about me and hurt my feelings. You got like, I, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I'm like what? an old elephant in comedy. I don't give a shit. Why, why is that, Karen? <laughs> is it childhood something? I don't know. Well, no, no ch- ch- you, you know what? Childhood, no, it's not. It's fucking self-esteem. Childhood oh. trauma made me insecure. And then as an adult, I'm I'm I've worked through it. Like I'm not that way anymore. And like you can say whatever you want about me, but like I have I have all the information, I have all the data about myself. So I know exactly how I suck. I know how I don't suck. I have all the information. So I don't know what anybody's going to tell me or say about me. That's number one, going to like get me like hurt my feelings. Like who the fuck are you? And number two, that's going to be like more insightful or cutting or whatever Mm -hmm. than what I already know about myself. You know, if you overdo it, I know you're petty and have an agenda. It's not going to hurt me. Right. What are the odds you're going to get it exactly right? And like seize on my like exact insecurity and the way that I feel it and like really hey. know how to say it to hurt me. Like it's possible, but I've you seen people have try and fail. Sure. But I just, it's like, I've seen like, you know, there's like, I get talked about sometimes and it's like, it's never that good. <laughs> I'm always <laughs> like, can you just like step it up a little Reddit. bit? Can you step it up? Can you like do good? Make me laugh. Hey, if you want to, if you want to make yourself feel better, there's a video on YouTube. I don't know if you saw it. Literally what? called goddess Karen Margolis. No, there's not. I swear to God. No, there isn't. About I me? I swear to God. I will. Yes. What? I will share my screen right now. No, there's not. Yes. Who, would make, who made that? I, I don't know, but you need to, you need to find them. You're you, lying. You think I'm kidding? I don't know. Why would you know that and not share that information with me? Uh, hold on. I will pull it up for you. Get the fuck out of here. I, look, I was look, I was at work. I was bored. It's going to be I somebody was... that I know. Uh, John LeCheese. Oh, OK. He's like a Twitter fan. I don't I know him from Twitter. I don't. Aha. Uh-huh. So, yeah, he did. And it's lit. That's it's... cute. Did he really? Yeah, look. Look at that. Oh my God. That's from 2017. Oh, look. I Does it blonde. matter? <laughs> I was a little blondy. I just got my lips done for the first time. Oh, that was in a bathroom. I think you just went through your Insta- Instagram to screenshot you some did. YouTube Before appearances. Before I like deleted all this stuff. Oh, that's so cute. Me and Joanne. Oh, stop it. This is really sweet. Look at all the you feel better about yourself? Oh, that was my little pilot. Oh, get the fuck out. <laughs> that's too all right, cute. I'm going to fast forward before you start. Oh, my real estate. The, you and Abby. Clothes. Me and Abby. That was really fun. That was a good roast battle. Me outside the stand. Me on the weekend sex. Old headshot. Weird side profile. Cute. Oh, this person did just go through my Instagram. This is too sweet. Pretty much. Goddess. Congratulations. Goddess. You have a true fan. Oh, my God. And my heart is touched. That is the <laughs> nicest thing I think anybody's ever done or said or done to me. That's really, so, really, really sweet. Wow. Someone made a thing. So, you know, the guy I'm familiar with that name. He's like a fan that's messaged me a bunch of times that I'm familiar with on Twitter and Instagram. I actually think that he might have brought this video to my attention and I have the memory of a goldfish. So right, I'm was... glad that you reintroduced it to me. Well, I should bookmark it every time you feel that. <laughs> That's so sweet, man. That's really nice. Uh, I kind of want one of those. Don't you? No, nah, God. Don't you now? No. No, I don't no. want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't believe you. I didn't. I don't because want it. If, if one of those showed up tomorrow, you'd be like, oh, yeah, they, your heart would melt. Nah. It's something that somebody thinks that about you and t- somebody took time. They'll never get back. Our time is finite. We're dying slowly I agree. every day. I, I totally agree. And they took time out of their busy life to make a thing and title it back as a god and you would be like no that's too much for me i hate it get I'm the such fuck a out hater. of here that's what it is. you're just being salty because i have a goddess karen margolis video and you don't <laughs> yeah i'm salty somebody you're hey somebody out there. Me. you know what i'm asking my mom mom can you make it <laughs> that's right <laughs> somebody should look i've i've tons of pictures of myself of that that my parents have and the whole i'm, I'm good yeah 
Just, but I would like one. it. I, I, okay, never mind. Well, here's the, it. it doesn't count if you have to ask for it. Like, I didn't ask for that. That was a surprise. Oh, that will never happen to me. I, look, I just told you I was just to bully people. You're you really a grown think? man. And you're a grown man. No <laughs> one makes videos about grown adult men. <laughs> yeah. I hope my son does one day. <laughs> That's all I'm you saying. You have a son? Yeah. Do you have children? No. You have a I kid? Mean, yeah. How old is he? Is He'll be four next month. Wow. No shit. Yeah. Crazy. No shit. Yes. Are you yeah. with his mother? No, nah, not anymore. Where, how long were you guys together? Uh, about five years. Wow. And when did it end? When he was already born? Uh, about a year ago. Mm, okay. But it's all good. We're good. Co-parenting. Good. All that good stuff. Great. No, no hard feelings, at least not on this side. I don't know. <laughs> no, she's, well, she's all right. She's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, okay. we handle it. Uh, you know, it's just one of those not meant to, not meant to be type shit. And Got it. The COVID did not help at all. The lockdown and all that stuff. Oh, I bet. Yeah. And so it was like, hey, uh, yeah, this is, this is not for me. And, and oh, you, know, you guys broke down, broke up over lockdown. Yeah, like yeah, last December. Oh, got it. Well, got the, it, got the, it. The, there was a lot of things happening leading up to that before of the course. lockdown, right? And you know, just you know, flags here and there, and I was right. like, yeah, do I really? Is that like it, it? It gets to a point where, uh, you don't even recognize yourself, and mm-hmm. people tell you like, "Yo, back, you've changed. This is not. Yeah, you're not right. even like, you know." uh nice to be around type shit like Mm -hmm. because i'm not i'm not a negative person at all Mm -hmm. uh but when it gets to hey you no this is not the back i know right you're like oh shit what's going on and you realize yeah that's a problem yeah but you know compatibility is 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 huge uh, for me so i've learned my lesson good so (laughs) yeah little back is growing up it is did you name him after yourself no after, well after my grandfather but yeah me too i guess so his name is also back yeah short for bakery yeah no i know so bakery and bakery yeah. bakery yeah. bakery bakery is your dad named bakery my grandfather no, it skipped a generation okay yeah 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 i'm yeah. like right, come so, on we can't be like bakery 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 bakery, bakery. <laughs> no <laughs> can't have that it's, it's, no, it's just weird enough. three is enough. Three is where you draw the line. No, but th- you know what? In Africa, we never make up new names. We just recycle them. That's true. Never, like, you never make up new names. No. Nah. Interesting. You always name your kid after, you know, your cousin, your aunt, your, aunt, your grandpa, your grandma, your brothers. It's, it's always re- like recycling names. Really? We don't come up with new shit. Interesting. So. Never? Not even for a middle name? Middle name, you can do whatever you want. Like okay. he has a middle name. I don't. What's his I'm not, middle I'm name? I'm not that fancy. Uh, uh, Jaden. I'm not that fancy. Oh, okay. I'm good. Back back where is plenty. There's not a whole lot of us, so. Yeah, I'm yeah, good. yeah. We, we, si- we, we, we. Go ahead. My sister never got a middle name. I have a middle name. What is it? B. B-E-A. B-E-A? B. Just so for Beatrice? Mm-hmm. But it's not Beatrice. It's B. It's just B. B-E-A. Mm-hmm. Yep. Do you ever wonder why? Yeah, it's after my dad's mom, whose name was Beatrice. Ah, but they called her B. Got it. Got yeah, it, got, it, got it. I like it. It's like a cute old lady name. Yeah, what in in Africa when you're named after we have a thing where if you're named after your uh, your grandfather, uh, they call you Papi. As what a kid. Mean? Oh, cute. So that's what they called you when I was a kid. Yeah, they called me Papi. And if you name after your grandmother, your name your mummy specifically would you be named after a mom or a dad or is that too close what do you mean uh like, no that that's you mean the kids have the same name as the parents yeah i've never seen that really that'd be no because yeah. it's, it's it's usually like a, a sister or a cousin or a sister there like could be two siblings ki- with the same name in a family no 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 like you name your kid after your sister Oh, after your sister, okay. <laughs> yeah, or after you, you name your son after your brother, like that kind of stuff, or your cousin, someone you're right, right, someone right. you're close to, mm-hmm. maybe a close friend. That's about as far as it goes. But you're not going right. through a, you know, those baby name books and going, oh, what about what about 
Tyrone. I don't know. Right, 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 right. Yeah, no, I get that too. I always thought that picking a random name for your kid just because you liked it was weird also. Like, don't you want a name with like meaning or history or like a yeah, family exactly. connection or tradition or something like that? Like, you're just going to pick like J- J- Jansifer because you like it? Like, what does that even mean? <laughs> well, actually, you know what? I, I would appreciate a Jansifer. <laughs> 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 and here's why because i will remember a jennifer jennifer there's plenty of them bitches out there i'm tired of jennifer jennifer's jenny jen fuck them i'm tired of the jennifer i was like oh you're jennifer nice Jens- to meet you jennifer what are you, go- what are you doing tonight jennifer i would say jennifer after every sentence Jens- i would talk to jennifer seriously <laughs> and you know what it's such a gender neutral name <laughs> yeah exactly jennifer Jensifer could you be can, anybody. You can funk, funk up the name however you want it. But that's like, Gen C. I, I'm, I'm t- yeah, Gen C. Yeah. Gen C, Gen Sir, Gen's Boy, Gen, I don't know. Gen's but Girl. I'm I'm tired of Mike's and Jason's and Kelly's and Jessica's. I'm like, come on, be, be original. Be original for fuck's sake. Would so somebody you? out there, Jensifer. Jensifer. <laughs> Because I gotta, I gotta, I gotta keep track of all the Chris's I know and all the you know, Andrew, Chris Andrews one, I know. Chris two, Chris three, Chris four, right? And some Chris. people, yeah, and some people don't even like it when you, um, uh, actually, it's usually girls, not dudes, but like someone named Jessica and you call him Jess or Jesse, like, oh no, I don't like to be called Jesse, and I'm like, well, I have twenty Jessicas. But you have no choice. Yeah, I'm gonna call you. And I'm gonna call you. I, people, people don't get a choice in, in the nickname that I give them. Like, I'm just going to call them what I'm going to call them. And that's how it's going to be. <laughs> well, be glad that you're Karen without an A and an E True. instead. True. So like, hey, your parents were, yeah, them, that we're going to make no you different. Idea. They had no idea. They were just foreign. <laughs> <laughs> they were just doing what, what came natural to them. They didn't know that they were sparing me. At the time, there was nothing wrong with the name Karen also. This yes. was 30 years ago. Uh, they knew something we didn't. <laughs> I, I guess. I, they saw the writing on the wall. They were like, Karen's not going to age well. Is there a story behind the, the Karen spell? Karen, this yeah, it's a Hebrew name and it means biblical. It's a biblical name. And it means ray of light. It has a bunch of meanings, but the, the one that they chose it for was ray of light. All right. No pressure. So yeah, because I'm the firstborn. Yes, yes, yes. I was the family jewel. <laughs> I, Bakary means the one who will succeed in Swahili. Oh, yeah. I think you told yeah. me in, in April. Yeah. I'm like, fuck. It means a whole sentence. Yeah. It's a lot of pressure, too. A lot of yeah, pressure, up to yeah. This shit. Yeah. You don't have to actually. You can do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. <laughs> you can be a huge okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh man. You don't owe anybody anything. You no, can be you a don't piece understand. of shit You'll never understand this. What? It's like when your parents are immigrants from uh my mom is. My mom's an immigrant. My dad's from here. Okay. So do you get the like the immigrant? pressure like hey yeah. we came to this country we definitely. work hard blah 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 now you have to fill in the Def- blank definitely, you have to make yeah. it whatever that is right yeah so yes, become yes. a doctor a lawyer and every immigrant lives that and yes. when i look at what my dad's accomplished in his lifetime he's still around uh and and i'm like holy fuck i can right. i cannot be ungrateful for half a second totally Me neither. and so great promise I got to fucking whatever I do. Yeah, true. But so do your best or whatever. But like you, it's your life. It's oh, yeah, your yeah. life. It's not their, it's not their life. You can do whatever you want. Thank you. You don't have to be <laughs> successful. You can be a loser. It's your life. Oh, no, no, not allowed. Not allowed. None of this it doesn't family. matter. You know what, though? But you're an adult. Doesn't matter what's allowed. Just do you. Can, what, what are they going to disown you because you earn under, you know, oh, no, we don't do those. We don't, no, we don't do that. We just forget you really <laughs> like, no i'm kidding i, I don't that's, know that's harsh and there's i don't know but yeah I, i'm not i'm not having that how about, how about you just do your best and you know see what happens 100 percent. but there's always something yep there's always that's something like oh you should have you know you should have done it this way you could i told of course, you blah, 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 blah. bro whatever 
What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Then, of course, parents always have an opinion. My mom has an opinion about everyone I've ever dated. And why did you date that one? And what, what were you thinking? It's like, because that's what I was doing. That's what I was doing at the time. I did my best. She was like, well, that one was unsuitable. Obviously. I'm like, I didn't know that. I had to date him for three years and find that out. Three like, years. <laughs> It was, a, I, I knew, I, I knew, I know. Yeah, I know. I was just ignoring the signs. He was hot. <laughs> oh, we all do. We all ignore the signs. Like, it was oh, super yeah, hot. This is going to be good. It was super it's hot. Great. Yeah. That oh, was super, super hot. Yeah. He was like a 10. He was, he was really fun. But um, yeah, uh, we were wildly incompatible. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> like, felt extreme- like you didn't measure up or something? We were just not compatible. We wanted t- completely different things in life. We were on different paths. Our like lifestyles were incompatible. Our personalities are incompatible. We were just really into each other. <laughs> he was just super hot. We were really into each other. We had a lot of fun. Um, and yeah, it was a really good time. But as far as like a life partnership, that wasn't, that was definitely not what that was going to be. Wow. What did you talk about Lewis? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I would never, this guy's not a comedian. So I feel, I feel more free talking about it, but, um, no, no, no. How, All my how, comedy, comedy exes are fine. How, uh, how, how old were you? Early thirties. He goes like 30. Okay. 30, so you kind of like knew where you wanted to be, I guess. Sort kinda. of, I guess, but like I'm a millennial, so I don't, I feel like that we're still figuring all of that out. Like forever. Is that a millennial? Yeah. Fuck, am I? No, I'm not. It's a like millennial. the law. Yeah, you are. You are. Cause we, I, I did this math with Lewis. Lewis is 39. And he, I insisted that he was not a millennial and he said he was, and he is, he's like What's... an old, he's an old millennial. And so, so are you. Wait, what is the cutoff? 81? Like, four, like 40. I, I don't, I'm not really sure, but like you make the cutoff. Oh, fuck me. I don't want <laughs> to be lumped math in with these. I don't want to be lumped in. You are. This. You're the lost generation. It's what we are. We don't have, we don't have savings. We don't have homes. We don't oh. have pensions or 401ks or good jobs. That's our deal. And we and are. I'm not the millennial. You are. I, I just bought a house. I have a 401k. Oh, congratulations. I have, I have a car. I have a Well, job. then you're the exception that proves the rule. Still then I'm not a millennial. If those were the criteria for millennialism, whatever the word is, <laughs> No, the criteria is just criteria is your age. That's it. So you are whether you want to be or not. Like if you remember a time before cell phones and before the internet, when you used to go and knock on your friend's door, like, hey, what are you doing? You want to do something? And you have to remember numbers by heart. Craziness. I still remember certain numbers by heart from that time. Mostly my family. I don't. I just remember my sisters. (coughs) Sorry. No, I remember like I know I remember a little more than that. But yeah, those those were the days. I remember you- my my first ex, my first boyfriend. I remember his number because I used to call him from work on on like a landline. <laughs> Ooh, landline. For those who don't know, landlines was a thing where there was well, one they, phone in the house. They still have them, bro. I was a receptionist at a hair salon just out of college because I just needed a job and. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so when I wanted to call my boyfriend all sneaky, I had to do it. Like I just ended up remembering the number by heart. <laughs> just calling well, him on I that mean, phone. If on the form you fill out for anything, there's home phone and cell phone, and you yeah. put two different numbers today. Crazy, Crazy. boomer energy. Crazy no, mad no, boomer no. energy. Yeah, you're not. You're yeah. You're old. Wild. Yeah, that's old. That's old behavior. You're way too fucking old. So are you? Uh, are you gearing up for the holidays? I guess. I don't know. I don't know if gearing up is the right word, but I'm trying to finish certain personal projects and work out. And I like to soft launch my new year's resolutions in December. So it's not such an abrupt shift. So I'm like trying to go to the gym every day. I pay for this like psychotically expensive gym membership. So I have Mm -hmm. to like really use it. So I've been going daily, like kind of doing more core and back anyway, nobody cares. Are you Um, so out of shape, Karen? You know, you have to work at it. You have to work at it. Here's the thing. We're not getting any younger back. And this gym know, membership is so it. expensive, so expensive. So I have to go to make it worth it. Because I, look, I spend so much money on myself and it's it's worth it, believe me. And I justify it and, it, and it's justified, of course. But a lot of it's frivolous bullshit. So if I'm like, okay, this gym membership costs $290 a month. Can I justify what? it? Yes, what if I go. Me? Oh, the ball is made out of gold. What the fuck? Does someone no, so they have, for free? they have amazing. <laughs> first of all, it's everybody's hot. Everybody's hot. The it's, place is super clean. They clean it like obsessively. The uh-huh. classes are they have awesome classes, which is kind of why I go. 
the amenities are really nice. Like the locker rooms are beautiful. They have Kiehl's products in the shower, t- razors, tampons, shaving cream, hair ties. Wow. Um, Q-tips. Boa condoms in the, in the locker room. Whatever you want. No, it's not a sexual place. That's forbidden. I mean, if um, everybody looks pretty, you would assume she would No, it's, it's absolutely forbidden. You'll get kicked out. Yeah. Oh. It's, it's a place of business. But they have a, a steam room. Some of them have a sauna. It's really nice. So yeah, it's worth it for that. I go for the classes because look, I'm not, I'm lazy. I'm lazy as hell. And I need someone to like push me, tell me what to do, guide me through a class. I agree with that. Take me through an hour's worth of work and I'll just get it over with. And like, Mm -hmm. that's my exercise for the day. If I have to be self, um, discipline. Yeah. But like self, uh, guided or whatever, like, forget it, forget it. It's too hard. I tried that. So too annoying. I downloaded a bunch of apps during the lockdown because I was like, I'm I in my too. apartment. Let me just give me one that just goes, okay, do 10 of these and do 20 of these. And well, there these. is one. Okay, so the Nike Fitness app is really good. I used it during lockdown and that was great. Nike Fitness app specifically, really good. Uh, and I did the same workout every day. It was 10 minutes. I it, it I had I added weights to it. It kicked my ass. It was so good. I like stayed in shape during lockdown. And um, it would that was really helpful. However, mm-hmm. I need, I'm so vain, man. I'm so annoying. Like I'm so about myself and I just want to, I don't believe in aging. I believe in getting older. Like that's such a privilege and a joy. Yeah. You don't look 35. I don't think so either, but that's because I do the most. Like I'm obsessed with myself. So I look, I know every trick. I know every, everything. Like, okay. It makes sense now. It's like, it's a superpower to be a vampire. (laughs) That's true. That's true. And you know what? It's a choice and you can cultivate it. If you wear sunscreen every single day black people also you it's important yes i know everybody says black don't crack but black do crack eventually so you want to put have you ever some seen kind it? of sunscreen yes we've where? all seen it you see black seen people cra- get yes. sunburned where no no I, I i haven't seen a black person with a sunburn i've seen black people aging and i've seen oh, i've seen black oh. i've seen a cracked black i've seen a crack i'm african black. we don't bend it's different Blood. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just saying Look, sunscreen, my dad's 70, he looks retinol. Like me. I mean, I'm just saying as a white person, we oh, age, sure. we age like a banana. So I, oh, yeah. we had, there's so much that you have to do. And if anybody wants to know the secret, I have so many of them, but yeah, you have to wear, you have to work out, unfortunately, like every day. Lotion. So annoying. Yes. <laughs> lotion. I put so much retinol. lotion. And people are going to turn it off right now. Cause I'm getting so Ted talky and like earnest. And I'm like, I'm shooting down jokes. Cause I just want to be serious and talk about sunscreen for a while. But like, I do not believe in aging. I just, you don't have to, when people are sitting there aging, I'm like, bro, get it together. You can look hot forever and just buy yourself time to do whatever you want. I'm like a child at 35. I'm like a big baby. I just look like I'm in my 20s, so I'm allowed to be this way. Do you have makeup on right now? Uh, a tiny bit. It's like mostly worn off. I have like a little bit of concealer and bronzer on, and that's it. I don't know what that means, but yeah, I, I can it's like it's bit. yeah, it's 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 not much. Also, I have like the pretty filter on. <laughs> Is there a pretty filter on this thing? Yeah, God, and I've got mine on, and it looks really nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, great. Yeah, Thanks. yeah, yeah. Thanks, um, no, but what, what you know. And in and, and, and Senegal, we don't, I've never seen anybody go outside like, oh, make sure you put your sunscreen on. I've never seen that. Well, you guys have evolved a skin type to be resistant to the sun. So I understand that white people, we don't have that luxury. If I walk around all day long, not that I'm really out all day long, but let's say I have a day where I'm like out all day yeah. long walking around and I have no sunscreen on, which would never, ever, 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 ever happen and hasn't in like probably 20 years. Um, you turn red. I would, yeah, I would get a little burnt. And you know, yeah. you do that every day and you break down the collagen and elastin in your skin. You can never get that back. So I'm gonna laugh at that. <laughs> <laughs> so for those face. of us, <laughs> for those of us who don't have sunscreen in our skin already, mm. because we're not black. Yeah. We're going to need to do a little bit of lotioning up. It's what Don't it is. Wrong. No, black people do need lotion. I they- mean, sun, sunscreening up, sunscreening up. And white people get really dry. Yeah, we get oh, really yeah, dry too. Yeah, and we and because we have that thinner skin, that dryness gets, you know, you get that dry kind of crepey texture. Mm-hmm. White people, we gotta watch out. White people, there's so many booby traps for us, really. That's we got it, we got that thin, light skin. That's what you happens. Really don't age well. It wrinkles up I'm and sorry. it burns. I'm sorry. Right. I'm sorry. Hey, roll the dice. What are you gonna do? I mean, take I, know care of I know you're not talking to me. Yeah. No, 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 no. You're you're fine. You're, you're, 
yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I'll, no, I'll, I see, I'll see you in 30 years you still look like this with like one wrinkle on oh babe no we're getting we're gonna get work well I- <laughs> <laughs> eventually yeah when the time is right honey you won't even know i had it you're just gonna be like she's tight uh, Have you done she's anything? always looked like that i've done my lips everybody oh, okay. knows about that i've done my lips i've done microneedling i've done lasers i've gotten they're called collagen induction treatments it's like all like maintenance 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 actually i think it's a little more than maintenance i think it actually in- induces collagen in your skin i think i look better now than before i started doing all that can you grow hair what can you grow hair this is all my hair you no no i'm not talking about hair but body hair um i'm naturally pretty fair and blonde so I, i'm not a very hairy person Oh, okay. I have some hair, but not not a lot. It's very manageable. I can't. Really, not at all. I mean, yeah, here you're smooth down, as an egg. You're like a dolphin. Look, I got person. nothing. I got nothing. I've yeah. never done. I mean, my, really, my I got a, I got a little peach fuzz over here. I ain't got no fuzz. This is straight skin. Just skin. That's kind of nice. I got none on the chest. You're like a seal. I wouldn't. <laughs> a black, yeah, okay. Because it's like black. black what you say? <laughs> no, because you're smooth like a sea mammal. <laughs> oh, don't get me wrong. I, I'm glad I don't have that problem. I am losing hair up here. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? That's okay. But, I dated. I dated a bald guy, and you know what? Before I dated Lewis, I was like, I, I didn't think I'd ever date a bald guy. I thought it was weird. Mm-hmm. But then I fell in love with a bald guy, and you know, loved him, and I thought he was pretty hot, and I not only did i get over i got like way into it like really you it, it just changes when you're when you love somebody so yeah that's I, true that's honestly true. it went from being like ew what is that gonna feel like to being like get your bald ass over here <laughs> <laughs> i tell you what it sucks when you grow reverse mohawk it's like on the side and then nothing up oh, here oh then you gotta get rid of it babe you gotta yes. get rid of it <laughs> and you gotta stay on top of that regrowth the regrowth is not hot let me tell you bald guys bald is fine that's fine honey what, if you got re- regrowth they're like if you gotta be bald, the... that's fine. no i'm just saying like when you get it growing back the back and sides like because you don't go completely bald all the right, way right, necessarily right, right. you go bald enough that you have to shave your head right because right, it's, right. it's, it's not a good look so you have to stay on top of it like you have to one or two days it's already like a little bit you got to do it kind of every day like just be bald then does that make sense yeah, don't let it me... don't don't do that back and side stubble that's not hot gentlemen i gotta tell oh, you no no no, no. Don't do it. That's, I, what, that's that's when you're married. You can let that shit go a little bit. Oh, you don't just start giving a fuck. Because where is she gonna go? Yeah, where is she gonna go? Marriage is terrifying. All your leverage is just gone. You can't be like, then I'll leave. It's like, are you? No, you're not. I and I just stuck with me, bitch. You're stuck uh, with me. That is it. This and is I'm farting and I'm fat. Here. See, that's what I, I'm scared. I'm scared of that. I do want to get married for that sense of just traditional family and security that I associate with it. But would you uh, go through the whole thing? Yeah, I don't know if I need a big to do necessarily. I don't need like the ball gown and all that. But like, yeah, I would do. I would get married. Like, I'd get legally formally married. I think that's sweet. But I'm also scared because I feel like it takes away. You just get like for some reason, married people are unhappy for some reason. And they were not unhappy before they got married. And then the relationship is different. Like there's a line. So that freaks that freaks me out. Like, what's different then? Put it this way. There's there's no magic formula there's no like i mean you can read all the books you want you have can... you ever been married how do you no. know then no, how I do haven't. you know how do you know a goddamn thing about marriage i've seen people oh, i know okay. people oh, okay, and i tell, okay, it, they okay. tell me stories okay no 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 i'm, I'm just going i don't know i sense. don't know any happy married people actually that's not true the butterleys do you know tim butterly he was a skank fest also awesome philly guy mm-hmm. that i've become friends with and his wife the the beautiful mary joe um they are like a happy married couple as far as i can tell but it's not about that i don't think it's about that what do you mean it's not about that it's not about being happy no no it's it's like when when you when you get to a point where when you're with somebody and you can just look at them or sit next to them and go hey you know what i'm cool yeah I, i don't need all the extra shit okay yeah i got that you know if you have that the rest is just fluff but the but when, why? when any relationship fails is when you don't even have that little yeah I I like you around like this is this is nice I like that. Why are married people so unhappy? Why did you go blow you all this? All the, I don't know. So. It, do, it this does <laughs> this does it sometimes. Hold on, I'm gonna try to refocus it. Uh, you're okay, good. I think that worked. Um, why are married people so universally unhappy? What is it about marriage that makes people unhappy? 
Uh, I'm telling you, it sounds like a silly question, but it's actually a thing that's true. So why? You think it's it's the uh, finality of it? Like, this is it. Like, there's nobody else. I can't. Well, I mean, you can have a different agreement with your partner, like, you know, in terms of relationships, sex, no, whatever. I wouldn't. No, we're not doing that. I'm, I'm not doing that. If you're well, married to me, it, that, that's it. That's it. Really? And if you're going to bang somebody else, you better be sneaky as fuck. Don't let me ever find out about that shit. You do that on your time and you make sure I don't find out. You know what? You know how, how popular Polly is these days for some not reason? Not for me. Nope. I don't want to know about it or see it. You got to have respect. Just... Use a condom. Don't tell me about it. Go do it on your own time. And my number one rule in relationships, which every single boyfriend has broken, is don't embarrass me. And if you embarrass me, for example, banging someone that I know or blah, 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 or you you would know. You would know if you, if you were doing it. Hence how the would rule. you know? No, you're supposed to know. Oh, how would I know? How would, how, it, how would they know that that embarrasses you because you without doing know. it because you fuck it. no 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 you know what would you know what would be embarrassing for you if someone were to do it like let's say you have an oh let's say you have a semi-open relationship or whatever and you're like yeah but just be cool and like don't like fuck somebody that we know or like blah 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 you know right, that person so, would know where that line is so if you set the rules ahead of time you say look this is what embarrasses me one two three four five any of those five i can't fuck with you no more but if that's not set to begin with, how are you, how the dude supposed to know what embarrasses I feel like you? He's, I feel like he's just supposed to know. Like it would be what would uh, be embarrassing for, for anybody, <laughs> for anybody. No, no, no. Nobody's the like, mind reader. Nobody's the mind reader. You can't just project yourself and think like, okay, what would be embarrassing for me? No, but you can't. Situation? No, see, that's the thing. You can't expect someone to react the way you would. Men are so sensitive and they have such an ego. Like I, I would expect I, yes, you to go, I would expect a man to go. If, if the rules don't embarrass me, I expect you to go out of your way in terms of you projecting what might be embarrassing for another human being, because y'all are so sensitive. Yeah. Well, y'all are so sensitive. No, we every are. Little we are. Thing, no, look, you not... talking to him or you da, 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 like no, 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 every, no. Yeah, every but... little thing with you guys. No, because men are going to put this. I mean, this is not this is nothing new. I'm not giving away any secrets, but there's something about, hey, I'm this I'm with this woman and uh, I own her type type of feeling. There is like this just that's just in us so much so that you can be in a relationship, right? Like on and off type shit. Right. And but, you know, that person so well that as a man, you're like, hey, you know what? If I want any, if I want anything out of that person, I would know exactly how to make her feel because I know her that well. Mm. So it, it's almost like, cause you're like, you know, you, when, when the woman breaks up with a guy, it's break up. I'm done. Fuck off. I'm moving on. When the guy breaks up with a girl, it's like, oh yeah, but I like to keep you in my back pocket. I'll mm. send you a text message late night. I'll mm. send you a happy birthday. You know, I'll I'll drop in because I'm in the neighborhood or, hey, I just thought of you. I'm going to share a picture of us or something along those lines, even if it's not the thought alone, like the, 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 the thought of entertaining that going, oh, yeah, she's my ex. But, eh, you know, just in case I'm going to keep I'm going to go over there. I'm going to find somebody else. But that I like that this back pocket, bitch. This is, yeah, this is good. I think women do that, too. Like, yeah, I get but. That. I think when women do it, it's it's more of a, oh, it could have been, you know, we, it could have worked out or uh, it's like, oh, the, the good one that may be left, but you didn't give enough enough chances or whatever. Right. But when I think that most women and those are the ones I think in a toxic relationship or some something is wrong to where you're like, yeah, I kind of want more of that drama. So you 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 go back to it. But most women, when they're like, yo, it's over, it's fucking over. I'm blocking mm. you. I'm unfriending you. I don't want to talk to your friends. I got my own friends. Like none, none of this shit. It's, it's so much. So um, I dated, I dated one girl. I, I was with her for three years and um, like, she's my best friend. Mm -hmm. Like there's no, like, and she doesn't live in this country no more, but if, if we were in the same room, I'd be like, nah, nothing's happening here, mm -hmm. you know, and for someone else to understand that, be like, oh, how are how, how you cool with your, with, with your ex-girlfriend? Like, you guys talk once a week. I mean, of course, you can set boundaries. I get that I, out of respect. You know, I mean, she got married. I was at her wedding. 
Wow. No I was shit. at a wedding and I knew the guy. Mm-hmm. And I was like, you know what? I'm happy for you. Like, this Good is not, you. this didn't work. But at the end of the day, like, you're, you've been part of my life and I, I want you to still be part of my life. I don't care what anybody else fucking says. Yeah, that's but sweet. there's an understanding here. Right. But when girls go, fuck off, I am out. Yeah, right, right, right. So you guys ended. So how did it end? It didn't end poorly, I guess. Well, it was, um, I think it was more of a, it wasn't an understanding. It was, it was one-sided and she felt blindsided. What do you mean? Because you mean it was I, one-sided? Because I'm the one, like, it wasn't a conversation. It was a decision that I made and said, Hey, this is, this is not for me versus a, Hey, we're going to work it out. And we both going to go, yeah, this is not for us. Right. That's the part that that was tough. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, again, I, I don't go into details of all stuff that that's happened. It's it's not that bad. It, it's it, to me, it was more of a conclusion to of, oh yeah, that I don't. I thought I did. I really wanted to work, especially with the kiddo and everything. But it's it's just uh, uh-uh. life is too short. I've seen people yeah. be miserable for twenty years and plus, and I'm like, I, this is not. It's not for me. I had nothing against nothing against her. She's a great person. She's a great mom, but just not for me. And and and, and in a way, it's a way to like, hey, I care about you. You go be happy. Mm-hmm. Like, what the fuck? Don't. I'm not the guy. You're yep. not the girl. Fine. Life goes on. It's not that, that is serious. Okay. Yeah. Right. 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 You can see That's how I each see other's it. lives. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It doesn't mean that you stop giving a shit about that person. I can't. She's the mother of my child. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I'm not allowed to for the rest mm-hmm. of my life. But it's all good. Are, are you uh are you on the apps and all that crap? Nope, not right no, now. I would. All, my my friend. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm fine. My I got I have some comedy crushes going on right now. I I'm okay. Um, I don't comedy know. Comedy crushes. I, a couple comedy crushes. I have a really? Can you drop names? No, I can't drop names. Okay, I'll I can fine. tell you, you later. Tell okay, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. When we're done with this, I, I can't. I, not, not that I even I'm know. I'm private. It's you. You. Yeah, you do. <laughs> I do probably i just feel like i know like i just feel like you might i, don't I mean know i might know, know who they are but maybe yeah not personally. i don't, like, I don't I'm, maybe maybe not i'm a personally. comedy nerd i would know their name them yeah, by you, name you, yeah you probably do but i i have a little i have a couple of comedy crushes going because i've been doing all this stand-up and like you know i had been out of it for like kind of during the pandemic a little bit like not out of comedy but i just there wasn't comedy there wasn't anything to do and like then when i was in a relationship i was kind of doing that and wasn't doing stand-up as much and it was still the pandemic and Mm -hmm. uh yeah so i'm been out and around and like i'm single and that's been super fun that's been fun i mean you know being single has its little moments jensifer we're going out (laughs) (laughs) yeah so that's been so fun i mean comedy crushes are literally the best thing ever i just love really? it's, like having a, it's a work crush yeah yeah but it, it, it so feels incestuous a little bit that's the because you like it's, it's like the degree of separation is maybe two or three it doesn't matter yeah and you're gonna see these people all the time and they're people that i know and really like you know like it's not just like some random person that i think is cute it's like a friend <laughs> right, that i like think a, is really cute and i'm like oh are you okay like it's a chicken coop it's just everybody's in the same like hey i know you yeah no, i know i like it. okay i'll see you what about you what's up totally but you like get to know people differently at different times you know like there's people that i'm kind of like re-meeting now that i've known for a while that's kind of fun that's actually how i got into my last relationship it was like uh you know oh my god you like what's going on here you are the one (laughs) hello (laughs) (laughs) yeah so that's all that's been really fun and yeah, no, I'm not on apps. I just, I don't have the like time or patience to meet brand oh, this, people. This, 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 it's not a time. Well, it is. It is. It is. No, you know what? I get the game aspect of it. I think that's where they win. What? Because you're literally just shopping for humans just yeah, with your finger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-oh. Right. Yes, 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 yes. And I'm yeah. like, I, again, to go by what I was saying earlier, like I... I think I'm better in person. If, if, if you had never met me, right? And all of a sudden, we either, I mean, I don't get in DMs and shit, but let's say, let's, let's assume that I, like I DM you, would you be like, what the fuck is this guy doing? 
out of nowhere you just yeah out of nowhere right? just like yeah, when i, I, when, I like we ended not... up in the same room sure at Skank Fest. okay so this, the whole like chatting back and forth bullshit is not it, it just doesn't it doesn't feel right to me on on like zoom no, but like on on Instagram or any of the the dating apps. Mm, got it, got it, got it. Because once you yeah, match, right, you got to right, talk right. to each other. hundred percent. Like, oh, so what do you do? Blah blah blah. And why are you here? You know, you've been on dates before. It is the chit chat's really annoying. Yeah. You know what? It's- what I want to do? I want to do. Uh, I want to try speed dating once. Oh yeah, that'd be fun. That'd yes. probably be a fun experience. Yes, I really. And it's I, fast. Yeah, but I I I don't want to. I always wonder what people have to say to each other. It's like five minutes or whatever. Have you ever done it? No, never. No? I would just like, I wonder what, what people can get through. Or let's say it's five minutes or whatever. Like what kind of answers you get. And I think people would dive right into the like serious thing. Like, Maybe. hey, I, I, were you in a relationship? What are you looking for? You know, what are your fears? I, I don't know. Were you molested? I don't Damn. know. That's intense for the it's first five minutes. minutes. It's five minutes. I, I know. I Maybe leave leave the molesting conversation for like minute six. <laughs> See if you get another conversation. Maybe you chill. <laughs> no, but it, 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 it's it, it's weird when you try to engage with somebody and it's like there's two people. Um, if you're just listening, I have my fingers spread apart on both my hands. And if someone makes, you're trying to get to each other. So you're trying to meet in the middle, but mm-hmm. someone makes a bigger jump than the other. You never really meet in the middle. You end up either on the side where, Hey, I just shared a bunch of shit about me with you. And I don't know your ass mm-hmm. versus, Hey, I give you a little bit. And then you give me a little bit. I give you a little bit. If you don't reciprocate, I ain't got time for you. And that's it's usually what happens in those chats. What's up? It's only five minutes. Yeah, true. I've had chess like, just go on indefinitely and no one like makes a move. And it's like, why are we doing this? If we don't want to meet up at some point, why are we even talking? I don't want to just sit here and, and someone to be like, so how was your day today? Why don't we just have dinner and see if we like each other instead of doing this but every day? I, as a dude, you'd be scared. Like, oh, so you can, can, can we go to dinner? <laughs> yeah. If someone's talking to you on a, on a dating app, they're already into it. They're already just waiting for you to ask them to dinner. It's like, if she didn't want, if she weren't into it, she wouldn't even be talking to you. There's so many guys on there. True. And, I, and I'm sure to get hundreds and hundreds of notifications every day from all the likes they get. But what yeah. I'm saying is if, if I ask a question, if I ask a question and your answer is one sentence and then what about you? Mm-hmm. I'm like, sorry, you're not interesting. Why? It's like DM. It's like it's nothing. No, just be no, like, okay, no. whatever. If you think the girl's cute and she's somewhat cool, then just be like, okay, whatever. Like, when do you want to hang out? No, it's not. I'm I'm talking like at first, or even when you're when you're talking face to face. If I ask uh-huh. you a question and your question back to me is, "What about you?" and you don't even have a question for me, yeah, I'm like, what the fuck are we doing? I'm wasting yes. my time. That's I'm a wasting. that's a pretty harsh line to be drawing. Really? <laughs> but if someone's just a little awkward at first. Yeah, but I, I can appreciate awkwardness. I can appreciate awkwardness, but when you're not even curious. Yeah. Girls, like you- girls aren't used to having to ask interesting questions or we're used to people inquiring about us and ta- talking about ourselves. Like, honestly, I think that, I think that girls are used to sort of being adored <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, I it think that is I think the it, point of society. <laughs> it doesn't even really, it doesn't occur to some people to like ask about another person. Sometimes it's true. I catch myself doing that sometimes where I'm just like, Oh, I've been going on about myself for a while. I, I, I'm I should more... ask about this other person. Exactly. That's I'm, I'm, all, I'm, I'm fascinated by people. I really mm-hmm. am. And this is kind of why I do this. I do this podcast and why I've been able to meet so many people from different walks of life, whether it's in France or in Africa or, or here, it's like, I'm, but I, what I want to know, what's more interesting to me is like, what makes you, you like, mm. like you're Karen, you're not Karen with an A, you're not Jessica. You're not like, I don't care. I don't, I don't care about, um, the friends and all that stuff. I'm like, what makes you tick? What's the thing that like, oh yeah, that's, that's, 
that's what she does. That's her. That's yeah, that, that, that's her. Nobody else I know does what she does or mm -hmm. says what she says. Mm -hmm. But I feel like a lot of people just want to fit this mold and want to look or act or dress like the next person. I'm mm -hmm. like, why, why don't you, why, why can't you just accept yourself? Like, this is me. Like, there's no other me unless you have a twin. And even so, it can be different. So like, this is me. This is who I am. This is, there's I no, that... there's no two of me. I think that a lot of time what we th see is lack of acceptance is actually an acceptance of the worst frame of yourself and a dislike of yourself. So like, you know, when you say, why can't people just accept themselves? I think sometimes they do accept themselves, but as sort of a, a worse version of themselves, like as a low self-esteem version, right? And yeah. they hate, and they hate that the self that they see. And it's not really about, yes, like it, there, there's, it's about self-improvement and all that, but it's also about just seeing sort of giving yourself the benefit of the doubt so that you can like yourself, you know, you know, the ways that you're shitty and you can choose to dwell on that, or mm -hmm. you can do your best and appreciate yourself for real for like the, the awesome qualities that you have and like, you know, amplify those energetically with like self-love. Yeah. I mean, I understand how it can be. Well, I understand. I don't know. Cause I, but from what I, people I know, and I'm, I have to fucking disclaimer. Uh, I can see how it can be hard to actually just be yourself, which is what everybody tells you to be. It's you go on a date, just be yourself. Everyone yeah, exactly. tells you to be yourself. And then they also imply with their behavior that that's not good enough. Right. So you get, exactly. you get it in comedy all the time. Oh, find your voice, find your voice. But then you're like, why am I, you know, I want to get booked on this. I want to do that. Why aren't they laughing at this point? Blah, blah, blah. Like being yourself doesn't always work. Or sometimes you need to be a better version of yourself to get the, the, the result that you want. So, you know, be yourself is at odds with be better. And those are both kind of true. I, thought, I, I always wonder when I'm when I see a comedian on stage, I'm like, is he or she like that off stage? Is that a character on stage? And then when I talk to them, they actually sound human. Yeah, and well, my favorite comics are the ones that are like the same person on and off stage. Yes, I, I actually I do appreciate that, too. I do appreciate that, too, because, well. From my experience, at least here in Austin, there were comics that just could never turn it off. I don't like that. Yes. And I can't, I can't fuck with that. It's like, I you're always like in joke mode. You're Be a human in... being. It's such a deflection. It's such an obvious like right. uh, defense mechanism. Like we don't just think that you're always a consummate professional. We think that you're damaged and this is a trauma response. Like we do see through it. Mm -hmm. You have to be able to just talk like a human being. Sometimes we're just people. Not everything is joke, 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 joke. It's like, I want to kill myself when I'm talking to someone who's like all about the bit, like relax. Not it. everything's a fucking bit. I and now I can appreciate people who like find everything kind of funny. I find that really entertaining. And like sure. some people are just like that. Like they're just like not serious people and like that's fine. But yeah, I know what you mean. There were a couple people at Skankfest that were like just doing bits nonstop and it was super irritating. Like they would never can you, turn can it you off. drop names. <laughs> I can't, I I won't. I can, but I won't. I won't that's on the fine. podcast. I'm a classy little bitch like that. And I, I never drop I don't talk shit publicly. It's it's just sort of my thing. That's fine. Because because I know too much. <laughs> 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 I know too much. If I start run if I office, start scary, running my mouth, if I start running my mouth, no, 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 no. I don't talk shit. Everybody talks shit to me. Like everyone likes to gossip to me and i i love it i'm here for it i live but no i i don't i'll tell you later hold on i'm out of focus again no, all right that's, that's somewhat better yeah you're fine you're fine okay but um yeah that that's a lot you get that i think with new comics and with extremely insecure comics you get yeah. the people who won't turn it off and you're this, like oh, the, i this... like you separately from this can you relax you know what and, it, and, it, and really that's why i I shifted the focus of this podcast to comics. So I'm like, yeah, I'll see you at the, at the mic or at the shows. And I only invite the people that I've actually got to know that actually turn it off. And we're just actually able to talk. Yeah. But otherwise it's like, yeah, some motherfuckers are just. You, know, you can't build know. a real connection. No. Ne always finding a punchline. That's and they're all in their twenties. I'm like, ah, oh, these kids. <laughs> some of them are, some of them are not. In Austin, it's but yes, I, I I get that too. I, I'd say there's a lot of new comics who do that kind of stuff here too. We're just like it. You really can give it a rest. It's it's you're exhausting. <laughs> 
It's making you do emotional labor. That's what it is. It's like, I don't always want to sit there and listen to your bits. So you're not reading the room. I don't really feel like it. I want to have like a regular conversation. And now it's like, if I'm not laughing at your jokes, which I can't laugh at all of them, they're annoying me. Um, (laughs) You're going to feel weird. You're putting yourself in a position to feel weird, but you're going to be like, oh, she's being weird. And I'm not being weird. I'm just, I'm tired of your bullshit. (laughs) Can't stand it. Yeah. Can't stand it. So what what, are you going to do? What did you, why did you start? in the first place comedy yeah um i was dating a comic and i was around comics all the time and i didn't really have any other friends and became friends with comics and oh it occurred no. yeah it was it was through it was through the comedy seller i met kurt through the oh, comedy well, seller where i was that's... waiting tables and so i met everybody through that mm-hmm. and dating kurt you know became tighter with certain people and was exposed to comedy for kind of the first time like i'd never really like known anything about it and one day you're like i'm gonna do it or just i was like sure well i graduated in the middle of a recession i didn't know what to do i was like doing random shit and i was like i'll just try comedy because i'm around it and i really like it and i'm like funny so we'll see i sucked forever people so i'm sure the ha- haters will say i suck now i think i'm, I'm all right no, I mean, um, from what i saw i, I think you're good and I'm not just Thanks. throwing flowers for no reason. Appreciate you. I'm fine. I'm a fine comic, but uh, I can't. I can't hurt you anyway. So you know, <laughs> I'd like to see you try. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm all right. I'm all right. Um, but yeah, it's. I. I guess I just decided that I was gonna do it because I was like, this is around, and I'm gonna try doing it. I just felt like doing it, and I've been doing it long enough that. I know it was my choice. <laughs> like if I was just doing it because a boyfriend was doing it, I wouldn't have stuck with it because it's right, just right. a lot. It's a lot, you know? Yeah. It, it's so. definitely a different, a different vibe. Uh, and I mean, uh, in like probably what, like I told you, it's, it's gang fest. Like I, I'm a fan first. Just, just being, but just being around comics, it's it like, I can't, cause I, I used to hang out with, uh, with bartender, I mean, not used to, I still do it once in a while, but uh, like anybody in the nightlife industry, like mm. they were my friends, they were my, I didn't, I didn't, 98% of the people I know in Austin, I've met out. Mm-mm-mm. They all did something, either they went out all the time and I, I got to know them or they were behind the bar or behind the DJ booth or at the door or they were the booker, or the musician. And, and, and then they just graduated and I'm like, yeah, I'm cool. I like you. Cool. We're going to hang out. Just being mm-hmm. around creative people and people who do something who have a, a passion for something I think is always is always good especially you know creative people yeah and th- there is th- and I've been I've been lucky to be around comics and I'm like holy crap this is I, I love it yeah I fucking love it unless you're in your so 20s do and you don't turn it off but otherwise it's dope yeah it's it dope. dope yeah yeah so I mean Skankfest was awesome that was like the best thing ever I don't think I even talked to any body other than comics the whole time yeah i like, mean just, i i did but they, people were really really nice to me it's oh yeah, yeah, yeah like the, the fans were awesome they yeah. were so sweet they were so like they were just the best but um the whole point for me and yeah i loved meeting them that was it was it was just such a trip but the point for me also was just to go and hang out with comics the whole time yeah that are like, you, you don't get camp. to see each other yeah exactly you yeah. don't see each other for a while and there's a festival and like yeah let and even people that I even people that I do see in New York it was like so fun to hang out with them in Houston you know this totally different spot we're all like kicking it all all on drugs like it's not like I'm doing drugs with people here constantly in New York we're working (laughs) yeah you know this is like our normal life like I'm not doing mushrooms and molly in the green room at you know the stand do you tour a lot like go up no do I don't I don't tour a lot I you know after skank fest and people ask me to like do the road and so I might do that but like um and I've been doing a road gig here and there but I don't tour a lot now I don't think it's COVID safe to be honest and also um I just I haven't I'm not a draw like people don't really know who I am so mm-hmm. you know I'm not going to be like headlining places or whatever necessarily no oh. well you got to come down here anyway I would love that though. I would love that. Well, I like I have a good relationship with Austin. Like I love it down there. No, it's a, this Austin's the place to be. Austin's the place to be for comedy. Yeah, it's good. Not for anything right now, because fucking <laughs> every, everybody moves here. And that's fine. I'm not against true. it. It's true, just true. it's just a fact. Nothing we can do. I think do. it's great. I think it's great. I think Austin growing is like a good thing. Austin's a cool town. 
I should have bought it's, it suffers from being earlier. very small. Hmm? I should have bought this house a long time ago. I've been here 23 years. And you just bought the house. You bought the house you've been in for 23 years. No, 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 no. I just bought a new house. Oh, good for you. Awesome. Yeah. And I'm like, I could have done it a long time ago and pay like maybe a, way less. A, yeah. Way, way less. It's ridiculous. But what are you gonna do? You did it now. Uh, you know, better better late than never. Of How long have we been talking? I don't even know. I didn't we've been talking about an hour. Yeah, I'll probably jump off in 10 if that's okay. No, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Do you have a do you have a dope shit that you want to share? Do I have a what? I didn't read the email. <laughs> So at the end of every show, we do share dope shit. Like you get to plug something that you think people should know about. It could be a book, could oh. be a YouTube page, could be an Instagram oh. account, could be a TV show, a porn site, whatever you want to say. Hey, yo, you got to check right. this out because blah, 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 blah. Yep, I do. I will tell you, I have been obsessed with, um, where is it? I'm going to find the name of it so I can actually plug this correctly. I've been, obs- here it is. It's called Black Tail Studio. It's a channel on YouTube. And it's also, it happens to be, a, it's a business. It's like a woodworking shop. And this guy mm-hmm. makes these, um, oh my God, so good. He makes these tables out of pieces of wood and epoxy, which is a resin. So he combines like a glass-like plastic basically. And they like, you can pour it and mold it into stuff. And he just makes these amazing tables with like these amazing pieces pieces of wood and i don't know why i just been watching the shit out of it it's so good it's so good <laughs> okay what is it called again black tail studios black tail right. studio black tail studio yeah it's called oops sorry 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 uh black tail studio yeah um woodworking projects they're so fucking oh god it's such a beautiful table yeah amazing work amazing work by this guy it's just so hypnotic watching him work he explains what he's doing he like yaps a lot he's he's awesome all right black tail studio so yeah why not it's it's the best it's been soothing me every day i'm gonna watch another one (laughs) (laughs) tonight i'm probably gonna watch what's this one called i'm gonna watch making a table for free awesome (laughs) <laughs> why not he's got all this good stuff going on seriously you want to get into woodworking no i took a woodworking class when i was in high school it was really fun i really liked it i enjoy woodworking but i'm i'm not going to get into it now I, probably I not at this thing. stage in my life look i can't even put a, a shelf on the wall you're asking me to i struggle with the shelf on the wall as well i look i i'm not prepared for this shit i'll tell you that i flooded i flooded my uh, laundry room just the other day Come on, grow up. <laughs> I just told you I'm not, I'm not meant for grow this. Grow the fuck up. Oh my uh, God, being a doll. You flooded your laundry room doing what? Laundry? Well, yeah. I, what do you think? Come on. <laughs> no, they, they, look, Rent a Center came. I rented the washer. They didn't hook okay. it up. They mm. hooked up the green, I mean, the green, the yellow, fuck, the blue and the red, but mm-hmm. not the return hose that drains the water. That's so doing laundry. That's a rookie mistake. You need to connect the return hose. Yeah, well, I didn't see the water's it. I didn't check. I did mm. not check. I did mm. not. And then next thing you know, my son goes, uh, daddy, water. I'm like, what? great. And yes, there was water everywhere. Oh, your little water alarm. Yeah, you know, it's, that's daddy how, water. That's, how it that's, that's pretty, that's efficient. <laughs> daddy water. Gotcha. Well, I, was going, I was bringing his bottle. And then, Cute. You know, oh. And, f- and then sure enough, it was just like, yeah, there's a big puddle here. No, baby. Uh, let's see. My dope shit is um, I always plug a show because I there's so much TV out there. Uh, Super Crooks on Netflix. Uh, if you like The Boys on Prime uh, or Inv- and Invincible, uh, like superhero gone bad, gone wrong type shit. Super Crooks is really nice if you like uh animation anime uh it's about this guy who, this kid who finds out he has the power to control electricity and be, chooses to become a super villain hmm. and then tries to get on heist and everything it's just wow. cool. short and sweet i'm a, i'm an anime fan what can i say cool, cool, uh, cool. you're super a fucking nerd i'm proud of it nerd. i'm a social nerd it's different yeah. Different nice. brand. Nice. i should have a social potato life. potato nerd oh nerd, come nerd. on <laughs> <laughs> Different uh, so- nerd. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and again, where can people find you? All that good stuff. 
Um, Karen Murgles on everything. K E R E N M A R G O L I S. I almost never go on Twitter. You can tweet at me. I'll get it eventually. Um, but I'm on Instagram a lot. So that's probably the place to go. Good deal. And yeah. as always, uh, check out the feedback, BAK, everywhere. Listen to podcasts, go through the archives. I've talked to a lot of funny people. Uh, I get a lot of fee- funny people. Rebecca's coming next. Uh, Rebecca oh, Trump is coming up oh, next. Oh, I so. love her so much. Yes. Love her. Uh, it's going to be really a lot of fun. So make sure you subscribe uh, and follow the feedback everywhere on social media. And we'll talk to you, Karen. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, this was I, so back. Thank you so much. For no, 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 no. Look, what, you don't, what an you don't honor. Understand. You don't understand. Like I, I had a blast at Skank Fest. I had a, uh, I, you know, I'll was, talk about it until the next one. Me uh, too. It was that was really special. Yeah, it it was like life changing for me. I it was amazing. Loved it. Fucking loved, I loved it. it too. And yeah. love to hang out with you. I love to hang out with Megan. Uh, <laughs> well, we'll, we'll hang out we'll... next time. Next time I'm in Austin, the three of us are having a little skank fest reunion. Oh yeah, gotta no happen. doubt. Yeah, that happened, and I'll be tour guide. That's okay, what to do. that's what that's what we'll do. That's perfect. All right, thank yeah. you so much. Ciao, ciao. All right, thank you. Wait, don't end. Hold on, I'm just gonna stop it.